Hey everybody, we're uh, getting to work on the uh, TFL Hobby uh, 1508 and I think what we're going to do first is we're going to go through all the pre-assembled stuff and make sure that it's got enough grease in it and uh, I think all I'll do is I'm going to start with the transfer case right here and the transmission um, so I have heard some things about the transmission having problems so I want to check it out first make sure uh, make sure everything in there is tight uh, if there's any other screws in there it need to be tightened down or replaced with uh, you know something more solid that would do that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these three screws right here and these three screws right here and we're going to inspect these two it kind of simultaneously so uh, give me just a second I'll have the covers off okay so uh, let's take a look at this transfer case first just gonna just carefully pull this apart and it does have grease in there but I think it probably could use a bit more it's like a really thick marine type grease so I'm just gonna put some right here move that around a little bit and put the cover back on I've actually uh, found some of these that did not have hardly any grease in them. That grease that they put in there is a little thick for my taste. Alright, so that's the transfer case. Let's take a look at this transmission. Pop this cover off really carefully, I think. is a really tight fit which is fine all right so what we got here okay they're all metal gears so that's good doesn't look like I need to do anything except uh, here again, I'm just going to put just a little bit more in there. Move that around a little bit. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. It looks like it goes back in a lot easier than it came apart for the most part. All right, there we are. All right, those are done. I'm going to go ahead and pull the covers off of these differentials right now and put these screws back in and so we can take a look at them and see how they are. Okay, so I got the bolts out of the covers and let's go ahead and take a look at them. All right, so we've got, this is the rear. That's some grease in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more. All right. I almost like never ever trust that people put enough of anything in anything or it's not to my liking, so... Anyway, there we are, there's the rear. Now there's the front. <clears throat> Let's take a look at that. Kind of the same thing. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of grease in that. The 
this time I'll show you how I turn it. All right. Okay, so that looks pretty good now. All right. Whoops. There is only one way these will go on too, by the way. So that's good to know. All right. So the other thing is uh, that there's these holes. One here, one here, here, and here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some grub screws in there to plug them up with some Loctite so it seals it. Um, because the reason why they're there is because they actually sell a aftermarket skid plate for this, but we're not going to use that. So I don't want a bunch of water getting up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug those. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these uh, bolts back in these uh, covers and put some, hopefully I have enough grub screws to hopefully I have eight of them to uh, plug them all up and uh, and there's uh, one more thing I just want to mention if you're doing this kit that I've already noticed is that even though stainless steel looks really cool stainless as a rule like these little teeny screws is really soft so be extra careful okay so, uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in, put those grub screws in, and we will get to mounting that center skid plate and the transfer case. All right, guys, so I got the uh, transfer case on the skid plate right here. I went with uh, different screws down here. I may have to pull these two out on the bottom. They're uh, a little bit too long, but... Uh, for the most part that's all together drive shafts are on according to the instructions the uh, slide out part goes this direction so I'm going to take them all off right now because I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> mount, the, mount this into here okay so now we're at the part where we get to put the axles in and this is what we've got Okay, I got all the links on, I got the shocks on. I actually filled the shocks with oil. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this rear differential in. I do have the instruction book open just because I wanna make sure I get the right size screws in the right spot. So, all right guys, it is the next day. And the reason why is because I got so darn tired I was putting everything on wrong. So, <clears throat> even though an all-nighter is a really cool thing to do, uh, it can be detrimental when it comes to putting stuff together like this. Even though this is a very simple kit, uh, I was like going like, why doesn't this fit? Why doesn't this fit? And then I come to realize it was me. It was not the kit. Except for the part where it seemed to be short some screws. Anyway, uh, I do have some extra ones around, so hopefully we can get enough together to... Uh, make this uh, all work um, case in point you know earlier I said I uh, replaced these with the, the stainless ones with these and the reason why really was because they didn't give me enough stainless steel screws so <clears throat> which is fine because uh, you know stainless is really soft it may look pretty but it doesn't always uh, as far as strength goes does it's not ideal so all right i got the uh rear differential all put together right back here um just gonna go through the front and show you how that goes and uh throw some wheels on it so we can see what it looks like all right so here's the front right here and uh where we're going to do this is well first of all flip it around it needs to look like that right so with that we're going to go ahead and put the drive shaft together like so right all right and then the uh the top links right here they'll go like right there and there I'm sorry top link go here 
from the air. Otherwise, it gets in the way of the dry shaft and that's not good. So then we go ahead and we put a couple nuts on right here. And what I like to do is just grab my needle and those pliers, grab the nut. And since uh, this plate right here is threaded, I just back this off until the threads barely show. And then start it. That way I don't have very much to turn it up to make it tight. It's uh, pretty much already there. Like that. We'll flip it around. Do the same thing over here. I get a feeling I'm going to have way too much of some hardware and very little of the other. Apparently I have very little of something. Okay. And then just tighten that nut. Alright, so the bottom links, they go in the center, right here. So we tighten them down. So for the shocks, I had to pull out of my RC four-wheel drive uh, screw kit to find them, and because uh, with the spacer right here for the shocks, needs to go through the shock, through the spacer, and into here. Although, this may be a little too big. Right, so, turns out I did have the right screws. I was able to get it put together. And uh, this is what we got going on. Okay? So, <clears throat> top links go to here, or it's bottom links go to here. I'm back and forth, front and back. The top links go on the inside of this plate right here with a nut. And uh, the shocks, just keep in mind, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out because you get like only a millimeter or two difference. So eyeballing it, you may not be able to see 
However, it does not go through enough for the nylock on here, so I may have to go ahead and put some Loctite on that. Okay, uh, just something to keep in mind if you're building this, if you plan on building this, or want to build this, or think you might want to build this, that's what you need to do. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the steering link on. Somewhere. We'll put the steering link on and then uh, throw some tires on it and we'll see uh, what the roller looks like. Not doing a transmission today. That's going to require some um, bracketry, bracketry changes. So I'm going to save that for another video. So uh, just a second, I'm going to have that put on and we'll see the finished product. All right, everybody, this is, uh, this is it. I threw the body on there. Just give you an idea. So, I mean, it looks pretty good, I think. I've done better kits before. Um, this one is, um, did not go as planned with every part of it. Not like some of them. Uh, some of them are a lot more complicated, but still, you know. But anyway, uh, next up on this one will be to get the uh, body painted, interior done. I think we're going to do the interior next. Um, so you're going to want to stick around for that. Look for more content on this. Uh, there's more coming up and um, more from other rigs. So be sure to check out the over 155 videos I got going on right now. And make sure to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And... Uh, Catch you on the next one.